Hello again, everyone. Hope you are well. Well, today I'm going to talk about faith over fear and Happy New Year. We're almost done with 2021. But before I, I go into it here, I just want to say, go dogs. Go dogs. Hope they do well this evening. I know I have some Michigan's, uh, Michigan Wolverine fans out there. I almost said Michigan State. But uh, Michigan Wolverine fans out there should be a good game. Uh, we'll see how it goes. You never know. Faith over fear and Happy New Year. Again, um, we're almost done with another year. I can remember back when we were about to transition from 2020 to 2021. So many people were saying, oh, I just can't wait to get this year past us. It, as if some magic was going to be uh, sprinkled out there when we cross over into 2021. Well, as we well know, and as we probably figured as we well know, 2021 uh, said, wait a minute, I'm not done yet. Hold my beer. <laughs> I'm just getting started. So what's 2022 going to be like? We've talked about it. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. We just truly don't know for sure. Uh, for sure, we don't know. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of red flags. <clears throat> there's a lot of problems out there. Yes. So you can find a lot to be pessimistic about. However, what I'm going to say here, all right, please think about this. Uh, a big but here, God is still on the throne. There's a lot of good things happening out there, okay? The news isn't going to talk about it, all righty? Um, the Lord is still in control, still on that throne. Nothing happens without his permission, okay? We have to keep that in mind. Like I said, good things are still happening out there. There are good people out there. Okay, try to seek them out. Okay, they're out there. Um, they're doing good things. You're not going to hear about it on Fox News or CNN or maybe even your local news. You're not going to hear about it. No, I'm not concerned about it. Um, so the news is not going to cover that. But we must remain strong. We must do good. We must be good out there to people. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of those around you, okay? Uh, we must stand firm in our faith. We must stand strong. Stand your ground. Faith, we must put faith over fear. We must. Uh, we can't let fear sideline us. Uh, we can't uh, let it prevent us from living our life, okay? Uh, we have to live our lives because we have God. We do. We have that. We have Jesus Christ as our Savior, you know, and uh, that's really all we need. First, I want to talk about faith. You know, as Christians, and most of us I know that watch this channel are Christians, uh, sometimes our faith does uh, wane a little bit at times. We're human, right? We are human. We sin. We are broken. I, uh, Whenever I feel mine uh, slack a little bit, I can't think of the good word for it, but I think of uh, this verse, and uh, I looked it up just to make sure I read it right, but Matthew 17, 20, chapter 17, verse 20, Jesus was talking to the disciples, and he said, truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, move from here to there, and it will happen. Nothing will be impossible. Faith as small as a mustard seed. Think about that. You know how small a mustard seed is? It's pretty dang small. I put it in between my fingers. You could probably barely see it because I have big hands. <laughs> but that there's a lot of freedom in that. I, I think about that verse a lot. You know, and so when I feel a little down, I think of this verse and I say, a mustard seed. I got that. I got more than that. You know, so it's going to be okay. So think about that. Remember that. <clears throat> fear. Let's talk about fear a little bit. It's easy to slip into it. It really is. Uh, in John uh, chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus again said to the disciples, Peace I leave with you. Peace I give you. I do not give you to you as the world gives. I'm going to repeat that sentence. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus said that straight up to them. Okay. 
So we have to remember that. I know it's difficult. We are human. Like I said, we are flawed. We have our quirks. Uh, we let emotion get the best of us at times. We really do. We all have a breaking point. We do. Uh, so we must remain strong. We must keep faithful. Uh, remember the mustard seed, you know. Uh, I also want to think about the, think about him in the new year, you know, Revelations, Revelations 22. And I need to read all of Revelations again. I read it before, of course. I haven't read it all, of, all of it lately. I need to read it through again. But uh, in Revelations chapter 22, verse 13, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Amen. All of it. Okay, from beginning to end. And uh, I, was, I was reading through some devotions. Uh, my wife uh, has uh, the Daily God Post uh, devotion book and uh, get that for her every year. And the, uh, the devotion on it for today, last day of the year, talked about uh, the person, right? The author was talking about watching a sunrise. And uh, that was her, <clears throat> her uh, tradition on New Year's, first uh, New Year's Day, is get up early and watch the sunrise. Have you ever watched the sunrise? Uh, early in the morning, from the time it gets dark to right when it comes up, you probably have, most of you. And uh, it's just that time is quiet, usually. It's quiet, it's just you and him. Just you and him. And do that sometimes and get lost in that feeling. Just get lost in the relationship there and feel it, you know. Uh, I know once, one time, it's been years ago when I was on a cruise, we took a cruise, and uh, it's probably the last one I'll take, but uh, something about being on a ship with all these people, I don't know, can't, can't do that. I wouldn't do it now for sure, but this was years ago. I got up before, right as the sun was about to rise, and walked to the back of the ship. It was a beautiful day. Sun was rising, and there were other people standing out there, and that's what they were doing. They were getting out there to watch that sunrise. I walked to the back of that ship and watched that sunrise, and I tell you what, talk about beautiful. I mean, of course, it's all you know, coming up on the ocean there. You know, there's no trees or anything to, to block your view. There's nothing to block your view. There's no clouds or anything. I won't forget that. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's an experience. You know, and everybody was quiet. There were people standing around just watching this. Nobody had a cell phone out. Nobody was talking. Just concentrating on that. It was a, it was a moment for sure. Try that sometime, you know. Even if you're not on a boat, try it. <clears throat> but remember faith over fear. Uh, we must remember that and live it. Live your life, okay? Do not be afraid and uh, don't be, try not to be anxious. With that, I'm going to say that I wish you a happy, healthy New Year. If you go out tonight, be safe, be aware, of course, uh, and have fun. Live it, you know, live your life. And uh, again, happy New Year. God bless you, and I will see you soon.